These rangers in southern Spain just trapped one of the world's rarest cats. There are only a couple of hundred of them left in the wild. And this one will be a vital key to their survival. This is the Sierra Morena in northern Andalusia, a mountain range that forms a clustered system of natural parks stretching over 450 kilometers across the peninsula. Its landscape is unique on our planet. The Mediterranean Deesa is characterized by vegetation and wildlife, adapted to an extreme climate with long, dry summers, but which magically blossoms during the short spring season. It's home to an incredible biodiversity with large herds of red deer, Iberian ibex, eagle owls, and griffin vultures. But the most distinctive, yet rare, inhabitant of the Spanish Deesa is the Iberian lynx. This lynx is one-third smaller than the European lynx. Separated by the glaciers in the Pyrenees that formed during the Ice Ages, lynx species adapted to different climates, with the Iberian Peninsula offering an abundance of much smaller prey. So instead of red deer, the Iberian lynx mainly has rabbits on its menu. Rabbits used to be plentiful all over the peninsula. In fact, the name Spain comes from the word Hispania, meaning rabbit land. But in the mid 20th century, a viral disease from South America was introduced to Europe and spread rapidly across the country, cutting rabbit numbers drastically. Diseases are still one of the major impediments to the recovery of Iberia's rabbit population, leaving the lynx in trouble. The Iberian lynx is an extremely vulnerable species. It's one of those rare cases in nature which depend on a single food source, just one prey species, the European rabbit. Without rabbits, the lynx cannot survive. The alarming fact is that in rabbit land today, there aren't enough rabbits to support even a small population of predators. And it's not just the Iberian lynx that's in trouble. It's the entire Iberian biosphere. This is why artificial rabbit burrows have been constructed throughout the Sierra Morena. They're stocked and restocked with tens of thousands of wild rabbits. All these rabbits have to be trapped on a few ranches where there's a sufficient number of wild rabbits because domestic ones wouldn't survive in the wild. But what happened to the captured lynx? And why would rangers take it out of the wild? The Iberian lynx ex situ breeding program is one of four breeding stations in Spain. It can hold about 50 individuals, each one living in quarantine. It was founded at a point when numbers and hopes for the species were critically low, with only about 100 individuals restricted to two small pockets in southern Spain. The breeding program was initially an emergency strategy, driven by uncertainty, but it's become a cornerstone of the lynx's survival. Here, the cats are monitored 24-7. In order to avoid learning to trust us, their contact with humans is restricted to an absolute minimum. Scenarios as you would find them in the wild are recreated to teach them to hunt their own prey. Wild lynx are also brought here for medical and genetic inspections, which are important for constant data updates on the health of wild populations. But most importantly, they play a key role in supporting the breeding program by promoting genetic exchange between the small and isolated populations and avoiding inbreeding in captivity. Separated from humans, lynx mothers can prepare their offspring, teaching them how to hunt and survive in the wild. These two young ones still have a lot to learn before they're ready. But when they are, it's time for them to leave the breeding station for good, to live in their natural habitat. 
As the lynx have been progressively released into the wild, the population has been able to recover from just two isolated pockets at the turn of the millennium to the creation of six further pockets today. But there's still a major issue to overcome. Intense land use and massive farms have led to the loss of their preferred habitat. The Mediterranean shrubland of the Deesa has been turned into giant monocultures. Additionally, it's hard for the species to spread as their potential habitat is largely fragmented by the Spanish and Portuguese road networks. Road kills are responsible for more than half of lynx fatalities today. And the chief cause of non-natural deaths is proving difficult to resolve as roads cross the animal's territories. However, there are solutions out there. Wildlife surpasses and underpasses are being developed but the number of these still has to be increased drastically for the Iberian lynx to be able to move freely around its habitat. Still, all things considered, the conservation of the Iberian lynx is a success story. Growing numbers in more and more areas give hope that Spain's iconic wildcat will one day be able to thrive without the help of humans. Hi there, I'm Philip, video producer here at Terramata. If you like this video, you can leave a like or a comment below. And if you're not yet subscribed, do so because there's weekly content coming up on our channel.